think I, I, I remember uh, Beijing. I think it was like um, the first Olympic Games that I really watched uh, on TV. And if I'm trying to um, remember like a specific moment, I think it's, it's Usain Bolt with the 100 meters because I don't know everybody was watching it and talking about it. But I think like my, um, the, the moment that I, um, I, I, I remember the most is uh, I, I went to, uh, to, to, to London Olympic Games uh, with my father. It was uh, like my uh, bar mitzvah trip and uh, it was like two, two years after I really celebrated it, but I really wanted to go. So I waited until I was 15 and then we went there and we watched some athletics and of course the triathlon. And I remember um, seeing, uh, we, we got to, to, to Hyde Park like two hours before the race and it was completely packed with so many people, just like rows and rows and rows of people before the barriers. And we were just like standing there two hours before the start. And then when it started, I just remember like every time when, when the Brownlee brothers came through, it was like, an enormous like shouting and you couldn't hear everything and the, the vibes were, were crazy and I think after that I, I really realized this is where I wanted to be and like this is the, the, the stage I want to race on and yeah I, I hope just that like, eight years later <laughs> I, I will be there too. Um, yeah, so uh, for me, uh, I could definitely say my father because my father was an Olympian himself. He raced uh, the uh, 1984 Olympic Games in, uh, in, in LA. And we kind of grew up on, on stories about his career and about his, his, taking, his taking part of the, of the Olympics. And it's something that, that we grew, grew up on. And yeah, for, of course, he was my, my biggest inspiration. He wanted to, to be an Olympian too. Crazy, like uh, I, I think about it sometimes because for me, I think it was easy because my father was an, an Olympian. I, I grew up in, in a family of sports, so coming uh, into this, the sport life and being a, a professional triathlete, it wasn't that hard for me because I had all the support of, of my father and my family and, and everything I needed, like mentally and and financially and everything but for my father it, it wasn't the same he was like the the entrepreneur he was the first and for him to go to the olympics and he, he wasn't from a family he did sport or any like very special stuff so he was a, a, a really um, one of a kind and he achieved everything by himself he started running just when he was 17 and then moved all alone to the US to try and, and race some and, and get to, to a good college and then race some collegiate races and from there to the Olympics all on his own and it's just amazing. <laughs> I think like the, the, the biggest influence that my, my father had uh, on my career and um, since I was like 12 years, years old and until now it's just like always raising the bar because even when I was 15, I would come to, to race and uh, I would run three 3,000 meters and I would say, yeah, I want to do that time. And my father would look at me, no, Ron, you can do much better. You can do that time and, and race after that. No, you can do that. He was, he was always uh, taking care that we the, the bar would be always higher. And when I uh, started to do inter international triathlon, no, you, you can't go just for top 20. You can go for top 10. You can go for a medal. J this is what you need to aim for. And he, 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 he learned, uh, he, he, he taught us that you really can't be um, compromised for anything. Just aim higher as you can. Yeah, um, I think the Team Mix Relay is, is a great event because it's always great to, um, I mean, we, we always uh, represent our country, but um, when we race individual races, we mainly represent ourselves but when we race on the team relay we represent our country first and this is crazy and and this is like very very uh, honorable thing to do to to just represent your country and your team um, and yeah it's it's great 
yeah, the format is 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 really crazy because everything is is so so um, so so short, and you also like um, depend on your teammates, and this is something that triathletes aren't really used to be because we are like individual sportsmen, and we are. Um, just um, basically re rely on ourselves on anything. If we do mistake, it's our mistake. If we do something good, uh, we we can. Uh, it's it's our thing to to achieve from. And um, like when you are uh, uh, racing in um, uh, mixed relay, it's like you never know what's going to happen. Not 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 everything is in your hands, and everything can happen. I would just go for like top, um, I would say Katie Zafaris, my brother, Georgia Taylor-Brown and myself. Um, basically just uh, waking up easily and maybe uh, drink some coffee or eating something and then go for a jog like 10-15 minutes and then go back and have a breakfast. and. From there on, you're just like chilling in the apartment or in the hotel room until until it's time to go for the race. Maybe it's it's some more, but that's basically it. And yeah, like leaving for the race like uh, one and a half hour before the start, and then we have all the the, the pre-race um, procedures like going through the athletes' lounge, getting your uniform check, getting your bike check, all this stuff that it's like most like protocol stuff but it's always it's also uh, getting you in in race mode because this is what you do before every single race and from there on you know um, like the, the race is really coming and yeah from there we're just um, sitting on the lounge and um, everybody is in the same position as you uh, sometimes I uh, have a little of chat it's good to to just like um, get the, the tension and um, yeah, from there, start. I approach uh, every race the same because my, my ultimate goal is just to be um, the best athlete I can be. And it doesn't matter if I have an Olympic or I have a world championship or I have a small race at home. Like I just want to be the, the best athlete I can be and it doesn't matter the, um, what, what ob objective is in front of me just to be to be the best that I can so no <laughs> um, yeah I, I, the Olympic Games for me it's like the the, the biggest event um, that that can be in, in, in sports in general and if I could be a, a participant in in the Olympics it will be like amazing and for sure like my, my greatest achievement in, in, in my sports life and yeah, amazing. Yeah, um, I think it's gonna be um, a great, uh, great Olympics. Like, um, just because of the, the preparation that uh, that is put on t to this event and the race. I, I, di I didn't race the um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the, uh, I didn't race the um, yeah. I, I didn't race the, the test event. But I, I saw the race and I saw it was still super tough, especially the bike course and, and everything. Of course, the, of course the, um, the weather and the hot climate and the humidity. So I think no matter what, everyone is expecting a really, really tough and, and honest race. Um, especially, really, um, personally for me, uh, not really because um, like the weather there is gonna be in the summer. It's pretty much similar to the weather in Israel. So I'm pretty, pretty much, uh, pretty much used to the heat and, and the humidity. Um, we're gonna stay in like uh, in pretty hot places, but mostly in, in Europe, uh, nothing, nothing much. And yeah. Mainly um, just to. Um, to, to, to enjoy what I do because I mean um, you can kind of just like being caught up in all this racing and tension and points and qualification stuff but you need to um, remind yourself why you're here and the ultimate reason why you're here it's because you love the sports you love what you do you love racing 
and that is what you hear and it's not like just why you're here this is this is um, basically it like it's fun um, uh, uh, it's great to, to be racing and, and traveling around the world so um, I just try to, to, to keep in mind that If there's something you don't know about Ron is that uh, I'm a student um, for uh, political science and international relations.